All right, so one, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Kapadash, the bonds unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples for his younger brothers, and peace and blessing, salutation, and hope, look out there, pushing his word and truth, and this sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Pushing to get up out of here, showing one to the hope of the believers and listeners who may have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in you. How about out shot? What I want to get into, all right, today, you know, is getting into how, you know, the pride of this place, you know, is just out of hand. You know, I have a new saying, <laughs> you know, I say to myself in my head, you know, just looking at these people, all right, and the majority of these people, especially here in the, well, these people here in America, you know, there's some proud American assholes, man. You know, like America has a real proud asshole spirit on them, man. You know, everybody is just a goddamn demon, okay? They're super narcissistic, and they're proud with it, man. You know, the people... In America, man, everyone just walks around with this pompous, like everyone, you know, is just this great celebrity, prince, princess, empress, emperor, you know, like, God damn, you know, like they, you know, <laughs> the way Americans, a lot of these Americans walk around like they God kings, man, okay, or, or, or God queens, okay, everyone got this, this pompous, like then they move around with this pride like they indestructible man like the things they do and how they move and their demeanor is just extremely proud man i was like man you some proud goddamn american assholes man you know now, i just want to get some some precepts man this is on the book of proverbs 16 8 18. it said pride goes before destruction okay and a haughty spirit before it fall okay so the lord has let this place you know peek out he's letting this place peek out in this pride you know because wickedness and pride go together okay not only is this place wicked okay and immoral as hell they're proud with it they boasting okay as if there's uh no judgment written for it okay there's absolutely no fear People don't fear the most high. They don't fear nothing, man. People, these, you know, people are just walking around with this pride. You know, you would think that they was indestructible, man. <laughs> you would think that they was immortal the way, you know, you got the average nigga, you know, nigga got these guns on them and niggas walk around like they're immortal. Okay? These Edomites, you know, proud as hell, man. You know, caring, you know, if on every, on every level, the nigga woman, Big shirt, everybody's just goddamn proud. He's like, God damn. <laughs> you know? There, there, there's little humility left in the earth, man. Everybody is just dead nigga, dead bitch. Okay? As Elder Bullen say, unfuckwittable. You know? Keep reading. I want to go here because when you go into the scriptures, that's one of the things that the Most High despises. It's that proud look, man. You go to um, Proverbs 6 and uh, 16. It says, There, I said, These six things don't the Lord hate. Yeah, seven are abomination unto him. A proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood. And the first thing mentioned was a proud look, man. You know, and this place has a very proud look to it, man. Okay? <laughs> he has a, he has a very proud look to it. It's a very proud demeanor in the earth, man. And like and they move as if they're untouchable, man. Okay, as if they can just say and do anything, man. Hey, <laughs> you see. But you go to the book of Psalms. All right, seventy three. It's Psalm seventy three and um and twenty. It says, as a dream when one awaketh, so, O Lord, when thou awakest, thou shalt despise their image. Okay? And that's a part 
of this beast system, man, it, 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 it pumps pride in the people, man. Okay, it, it pumps a lot of pride into society, man. This beast system was, it's, you know, everyone is worshiping themselves, man. You know, all these selfies all the goddamn time, every day, all day. Everyone just engulfed in self-worship, man. Okay, everyone is this, like I say, this great celebrity. Everyone is, you know, just got it all figured out. Everybody's some type of deep guru got everything figured out, man. You be like, damn. You know? But the Lord, this is the atmosphere that the Lord wants before he judged this place because he hates pride. And the Lord is going to judge this place in his wrath, man. Okay? So he wants this place to be an image of something that he hates, man. And that's why it's laid in the covered with pride. Okay? Let's go to Isaiah. <coughs> oh, it's like in Isaiah chapter 2. Verse, um... Yep, this is Isaiah 2 and 11. I'm going to read this in the NLT. It says, Human pride will be brought down. And human arrogance will be humbled. And see, people, you know, convenience has a lot of people fooled, you know, as if they're in control. You know, you can, you know, you can take a picture, you can edit it. Okay, you can have videos posted, edit it, get likes and... You know, so you always getting this, you always getting this endorphin rush. You know, you, people just overstimulate. All right, trash people are worshiping this society. Okay, so, you know this is a, a, a people living off a of delusion, as if, it, it, as if you know, they, they, they what they call an exaggerated ego. Everyone has these exaggerated egos. Okay, these self-inflated egos. All right, there's a lot, but the Lord is finna put an end to human pride and arrogance in the earth, man. You see, one thing that's gonna destroy pride is when people see that they're not in control. Okay, when people, you know, when people see that they're not in control, you know, when they don't know when they're gonna eat again. Okay, when there's no emergency response team that's going to come to the rescue, no more simps. Okay, because this society is full of safety nets for people to just wild out with no consequences, man. Okay, but when the Lord break this place down, ancient world style, all their pride going to leave. When niggas run out of bullets, all these tough guys, even when niggas got bullets, because niggas can't shoot and they not ready for the judgment that the Lord going to bring, man. Okay? All this tough guy, you know, everybody's, you know, like I say, indestructible. We're going to see. Okay? And it says, for the Lord, um, I'm finished, it says, um, Isaiah 2 and 11, and the NLT says, human pride will be brought low, and human arrogance will be humble. Only the Lord will be exalted on that day of judgment, man. So only Yahweh Bashim al Shai will be exalted on that day of judgment. Okay? Because this is a society that people just exalt themselves all day. Exalt themselves all day, man. Okay? Hype themselves up, talk about themselves, what they doing and what they finna do and how they, you know, that's all people do. Okay? But in that day, only the Lord. How about your mouth? Shah is going to be exalted, man. Okay? Verse 12 says, For the Lord of heaven's armies has a day of reckoning. He will punish the proud and mighty and bring down everything that is exalted, man. Okay? So the Lord has a day of reckoning, man. To where pride going to meet, the, the pride of this society is going to meet the Lord's anger. It's going to run head on with the Lord's anger. Okay? And it's going to be shattered. <laughs> you see? This is the time that we're in. And guess what? This is the book of Isaiah 13 and 11. Let's read this. Alright, this is Isaiah 13 and 11. 
and I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy, okay, of the proud to cease and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible man. That's beginning with Esau, Edom, okay, to, 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 to the least person in the earth that's full of pride, man. You got homeless people proud, okay? I say it's just it's just unheard of, man. You know the pride that reeks off this society, man. But the Lord is finna cause it to cease, okay, through calamities, man. All right, and you read the next precept. It says, "And I will make a man." All right, Isaiah thirteen and twelve. And I will make a man more precious than the fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of fear. And that's speaking of the men of your house, shot, man. Okay, and one thing about you know being conformed to your house, shot, we have to learn humility, man. We know that we need mercy, man. Okay, and the Lord is gonna deal with the meek. Okay, and we have to remember this society, you know, hey, the proud and you know the degenerate. This is this is for them to win. Okay, but in the times to come, it's gonna be the meek. It's gonna be the humble that's gonna thrive. In the chaos, man. The meek and the humble of Israel, man. Okay? Brothers that's been conforming to your house shot is going to thrive in these times, man. We're going to be good. No, Lord will. We're going to be within the mercy of your house by Shema al right, These people are, uh, 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 you know, going to be caught up in this wrath, man. Being humble. Okay? So the Lord is finna cause pride to completely cease in the earth, man. But at the same time, hey, there's going to be particular men whose who, who, Lord whose value is going to increase, man. And it's because of our favor in your house, shot. Hey, that's it. It's nothing of us. It's because our favor in your house, shot. That's why your house, shot should be number one priority for any Israelite man that they say they believe, man. Okay, your house, shot should be top priority, man. Okay, because through him everything else gonna be sorted out. Okay, so let's go from now. Let's um, you know, because Lord, He states why He's gonna punish this place, man. When you go to, <laughs> yep, this is um, because the Lord just gonna finish this place off with missiles. He's going to torture the proud. Like, before it's all said and done, the Lord's going to torture the proud of this society, man. Okay? Especially in America. Jeremiah 50 and 29. It says, Call together the archers against Babylon, all ye that bend the bow. Camp against it round about. Let not, I said, let not thereof, I said, let none thereof escape. Recompense her according to her work, <clears throat> according to all that she have done. Do unto her, for she have been proud, okay? She have been proud against the Lord, against the Holy One of Israel. So, the Lord is preparing nukes for the pride. That's how bad pride and wickedness has got that the Lord created a such thing as a, as a nuclear weapon, man. Okay, with all that heat and that force, nuclear winds. Okay? And it's because this place has gotten so wicked and proud. You know, this in pride, we got to pray not to get get prideful, man. Cause that's a that's a demon that can, you know, that nigga always somewhere, man, lurking. You know, seeing seeing who he can corrupt. You know, so that's something we have to constantly pay, pray for and examine ourselves, make sure we're not becoming proud. Okay, I'm gonna jump down to. 31 says, Behold, I'm against thee, O thou most proud. Okay? And the Lord finna show that he's against Babylon the Great, man, which is America, man. Against these devils. Okay? These Edomites as a whole. Okay? But there's a special judgment for proud ass America, man. You proud ass American assholes, man. You know? And said, Behold, I'm against thee, O thy most proud, said the Lord, powerful host, for thy day is come, 
the time that I will visit thee. Okay? So the Lord is going to visit the pride of this place, man. And how is he going to visit, man? It's going to be plagues. Okay? It's going to be torments. Okay? It's going to be evil times leading all the way up into um, the nukes and your house shot. That's how the Heavenly Father is going to visit this place through judgment, man. Through correction. Okay? Through deletions. And <laughs> through, through terror. You know? So that was the point, you know, Lord will, you brothers. All right, and you sisters edified. Till next time, I say shalom. Call me Ashala. Bye, 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 soon.